Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about two of my favorite tools for social posting. Uh, the first one is Buffer App, and the second one is Hootsuite. And we're going to go over some of the things that I do regularly using them, and which one I like better and which one I like worse for each one. So we're going to be covering scheduling, reporting, RSS feeds, and interactions. So the first thing that you want to um, know is that it's super easy for both of them to get something into the queue to be able to post, and there were air quotes there. So first off, to get it in the buffer, you have, I have a uh, little button, and all I do is push the button, and then I pick which social networks I want to have it on, and then I can pick the picture. Now, I will say that I don't love the picture thingy in Buffer App as much as I like it in Hootsuite. Um, it's a little bit harder to see, uh, but in this, you can actually upload a picture and then they will post the picture with it rather than just the small thumbnail image. So that's really nice. And then you can add it to queue. The thing that I like about this one is I can actually bump it in line and do share next or share it now or just schedule it for a certain time. So that's really nice. I like that feature of that. The other way that I could do it is I could put it into Hootsuite. And Hootsuite is um, much the same way. We're going to be using Deb my friend Deb Ward as a um, example. So you would do the same thing. And then if you do uh, the Facebook before you do the Google Plus, you get a lot more options on your pictures. Now, I think Hootsuite has a really nice interface for this. Um, I can see it a lot better, I guess, a lot easier to see. And then I have a couple options. I can auto schedule. It means it will go into the queue to get posted. I also have where I could um, schedule it or send it now. I can't bump it in line um, and add it to my hosting queue or my um, publishing queue. So that's kind of a, a downer for me on that one. Okay, the next thing about Buffer that's really cool, that's one of my favorite things, is that you can move things around. So what will happen is I'll schedule a whole bunch of stuff and then I'll either shuffle it, which means it's just going to shuffle the order. So say I'm going and posting a whole bunch of my blog posts that I want to schedule out, but then I don't want to be a spammer, so I'll schedule a whole bunch of other people's blog posts too. I'll just click shuffle and it will shuffle all of them so I'm not putting all my blog posts out at the same time in order. So that's really, really nice. I love the shuffle. And then also I can just move these around. So say I didn't want to put Joel's um, post out, I could just move it down in the queue. So that is super, super great. Um, Hootsuite isn't as nice. Um, I can I can definitely edit it and I can change the time that I want it to be, but I can't really move it and shuffle it and do all those things. So I have to be way more deliberate when I'm actually putting things in. So I would I just go up here and I open a whole bunch of them and then I move them around up here and do all that. So that's less um, less handy for me for scheduling, as far as being a content curator and things like that. The other thing that I like so much about Buffer for the for this is the scheduling aspect is I can do it on a granular level, meaning for each one of my accounts. So for my Twitter, my Pterodactyl Twitter, I have three posts going out a day. And then um, for my Facebook page, I only have two going out. And for LinkedIn, I would definitely only have two going out because they, um, they get grumpy if I post too much. And then they send me mean messages. So that's really, really cool. Hootsuite has a scheduling feature. I don't love it as much. It's more um, auto-schedule your messages. And then they will pick, based on um, algorithms, uh, computer programs in their system, the best times to post, which is kind of nice. It's all right. Um, but the, the problem with it is, is that I can only pick globally. So these are my actual... Um, uh, client accounts and some of mine. And the problem with that is some of my clients, I would like to schedule, you know, three or four posts a day. Some of them say on Twitter, I would like to have more. Some I would ha like to have less. But I can't do that with Hootsuite. It's not on that that per um, per account level. It's globally. So I have um, just scheduled two for everybody. Uh, it's not the end of the world by any stretch of the imagination, but I just, it makes me a little bit sadder. Um, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is reporting. Okay, so the analytics is nice on 
uh, buffer app. I can see how many clicks I got, how many mentions, things like that. On Hootsuite, it's a little less nice. Um, you have to uh, actually make an individual report for each of the accounts. So I would have to have, if I wanted to have a report for every single account, I would have to uh, do one for Deb's Twitter and then one for Deb's Facebook. And I have to generate those. They don't just come up. Now that having been said, I really do like how they put it by how many clicks things have gotten because then it's really easy to pop in and see what kind of content has done really well. So I would have to say for me, the fact that I didn't have to do anything and that it just shows up um, and that, that I can see immediately how everything's doing, if I got reshares, if I got those types of things, that makes me happy. Um, so I think Buffer wins on that one. The next thing let's talk about is RSS feeds. And so in, in Buffer, you can schedule all kinds of, or, or load up, add or remove feeds. So you would put them in here, just put a feed in. All kinds of different things, all kinds of feeds, right? And then what'll happen is when you come in here, you can see uh, all these feeds and you just click add. So let's say I'm going to Facebook extends its ad platform. I would add that to my Twitter account because that's what I'm in. So if we go down here and we go to content, what's in the queue, it's going to be down here. Okay. And I absolutely edit all of these because that just would be posting it straight. But I want to have like um, my hashtags in there and things like that. So I'm going to say blog post and then the hashtag and things like that. And so it shows me I still have 46 characters left, which is really good. Um, and then I would just click save and it's going to schedule it out whenever I feel like. And say it was something that was really interesting, I could have scheduled that for uh, the, to go out the next post and then it would have put it at the top. Or I could have, or I can just say I decide, oh my gosh, I forgot to do that. I can move it around. So you can just do that. Hootsuite, as far as the RSS feeds goes, is, is definitely way more kerfuffly. Um, to, I can't just add them in Hootsuite. I have to go find them on the internet. And then they come into these tabs that are called Hootsuite syndicators. So um, you can rename them. So I renamed this one marketing blogs. Um, but I would have a different feed for every um, blog that I entered. So for example, I had probably have, t well, let's see how many feeds I have. I have four feeds, so not that many. But usually I have like 10 or 20 feeds that I have going into there. And if I was doing it in Hootsuite, I would have to have 10 or 20 tabs. It is kind of easier to see it this way. I kind of like that. But as far as a, a workflow, this is crazy. And then, so then I have my, my realtor feed. So this is the Zillow blog. And the way that I would add a feed to this is I would come over here, say I wanted to add the curb. What I'm going to do is click on any RSS feed that I see. Oops. And it, usually if I hover over it, let me see if this happens again. If I hover over it, it says, do I want to add it to my Hootsuites? Doesn't always work great. I'm sorry. It's not working right now. But so it's not, it's not foolproof. Um, so, sorry. And then it would add it to it. Um, buffer app, hands down for the RSS feeds, for having it right in each account. Um, it's really important to me to do that because then I, I can, I can figure out, um, you know, things to put in just for, um, specific accounts and I can do that. Hootsuite, it's more, I have lots of feeds and then I have to try to figure out which feeds would go with which clients and it's just not nearly as nice. Now, interactions, um, responding to app messages, responding to messages, having the ability to manage my social accounts all in one place. Um, Buffer app doesn't have that. <laughs> so it's really a posting, um, a posting tool rather than a, uh, a social management tool. 
because here we can add almost anything that we wanted to do. So this is Deb's at mention. So House Hunt said that they included one of her posts in their, their newspaper. And I can go to any one of my accounts and answer it right from here. So I'm going to say, so um, I'm going to say, thanks for sharing house. And then say, send now. That's awesome. That was really nice. And so that's it. For me to go and do the, the same for my Twitter accounts or for my, you know, using Buffer, I have to go into each account. And then I have to check my notifications and see if anybody did it. Now, for me, that's not really a problem. Um, I don't mind doing that because I do work my accounts more than I than than just to you know do the bare minimum. So it's not a problem for me. But definitely, Hootsuite has that win because Buffer doesn't do that. Um, overall. I pay for both accounts. I've disclosed that in there. I have the upgraded account. Um, Buffer would be horrendously expensive for me to do it. They have a, a, a special kind of um, pricing plan. When you get the basic paid account, you get 12 different networks. And I have other networks that I would like to have, but um, their next step up is uh, 25 networks and quite a bit more expensive, where Hootsuite, you can have 50 accounts with the same base level um, one, which is actually really, really nice, and that's why I have my client accounts in there. It's, uh, it's much uh, more user-friendly. Now, that said, the big detriment to me is the ability to um, move the posts around that are in my queue, and the other detriment is how easy it is to have the feeds in here. I mean, this is just so gloriously wonderful that um, for my own stuff and the things I'm in every day that I really want to use this tool um, for my personal stuff and then I use the other tool to manage my clients. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.